Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex Bennett and this is The Ramble. We go until midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, um, uh, it's uh, it's Christmas time and uh, we like to always at Christmas time uh, deal with Christmassy stuff and happiness and joy. So really? we always for that go to Chuck Farnham because... You know, if anybody reminds us of jovialness and peace on earth, goodwill towards men, it's got to be yeah. Chuck. Hey, before Biden. we get started, what? It's your birthday week. Yeah. Huh? Well, huh? it was my birthday was... before. Yeah. Go, yeah. Oh, you got Yeah, me. yeah. Why? I've done a lot of work here, Alex. I got the cupcake going. Yeah. I, you know, I don't start a fire. It's also uh, Junior's birthday today. It's whose birthday? Yeah, my, Who? my lovely child. Your what? My kid. Oh, your kid. It's his, it's oh. his birthday today. Yeah. He's like 114. But I also did this. Hold on. This is good. Uh, I mean, I spent... That's why I was so late this morning. Hmm. I was working on something and... Uh, oh, wow. Oh, it gets better. It's really, uh, you know, I've, it's my backpack. It's your backpack? Yeah, my backpack's got um, LEDs on it, and they're programmable. And you can uh, put all, you can put anything on there. So, you know, I worked up a little, uh, oh. you know, birthday thing for you, because, you know, we didn't talk on your birthday. Well, we talked a little bit on your birthday, I guess. Yeah, oh, here See, we go. Know? That's a little, little uh, clown. Oh, wow. Yeah. And there you oh, are. On their See? backpack. <laughs> Running around on the backpack. It's, yeah. These things are really, really nice. <laughs> that was my, my picture from Channel 44. That's my, yeah. that's my, <laughs> that's my yeah. game show host picture. So, anyways, uh, you know, we're still celebrating the birthday here with the backpack. And you, you had a cupcake. On there. You got a yeah, cupcake. Can... Huh? And a cupcake. You may as well. I, you may as well eat it for me. Yeah. No. I. Uh, you could mail it to me, but by the time it got to me, it would be stale. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for about eight hundred dollars, I could overnight it. Yeah. You better just do a coupon to buy food in the neighborhood. Yeah, I'll, I'll go out and buy a cupcake and put a candle in it and pretend it's from you. Yeah. 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 No, that won't work. Just yeah. call me or take a picture of it. That'll be good. Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. So. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, so my tooth, my well, tooth's still missing. Yeah, his tooth is still missing. So is mine. Yeah. Right, where is it? Yeah. I had three removed the other day. Huh? I had three yeah, I had three more removed the other day. Really? Yeah, I don't know what I thought it was gonna be like one tooth and then the dentist said no and next thing you know I had to go to uh the only way they can do me is an oral surgeon. Oh boy. But you have to go to a moral surgeon, and he gets out a hacksaw. It's horrible. Well, you know what? You know the difference between an uh, oral surgeon and a uh, dentist is. Yeah. About three hundred dollars. So about an bump. Nice. Yeah. You'll be here all week, won't you? Yeah. No, they they got all these little specialties, so they charge you more for them. Yeah. No kidding. Remember when was... any doctor pulled your goddamn tooth and gave you? Uh, a swig of whiskey before he did it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I, well, when I was getting your uh, candle this morning at the grocery store, yeah, guy in front of me had six of the largest bottles of Jim Beam I have ever seen in his cart, mm -hmm. and a bag of Funyuns. That was it. A bag of Funyuns. Yeah, like two gallons of Jim Beam mm -hmm. and some Funyuns. So when are you going to get that tooth taken care of? It's taking care of it. It's sitting in the other room right now. What? 
It's in the cabinet in the What do you have a clipper? A clipper cabinet in the bathroom. Is it clipper? Wait a minute. I'm asking you, is it No, a, no, I have a I put one that just fell out, I I kept it. Oh, you kept it. Oh. So I have when people go, hey, you're missing a tooth. I'm like, I ain't missing no tooth. It's in the cabinet in the bathroom. I just can't figure out if I want to get it back for about three grand. Well, you know, know something? I would do the front one. I I'll kind of like the hillbilly The look. back ones don't matter because nobody, I mean, even this one, which I'm having done. Oh, is it here? Where is it? There it is. See? The, the one I'm having done, I'm having it yeah, done yeah, yeah. the 2nd yeah. of January. Uh, I'm having it done because I don't like the idea of looking like, you know, like I'm a Trump uh, supporter. Uh, I just kind of look like I'm an idiot and that never has changed. Yeah. So it's $3,000. I mean, I can get it done, but hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You're freezing up. And a now little. the other ones, how do you mean, By the way, you're freezing up back on to you're freezing up on us a little bit. Today. Yeah, so are you. And, yeah, you did on me as well there. Yeah, well, I guess it's it's. Um, it, I don't think it's my me here because I have uh, so much bandwidth. It's ridiculous, you know. Yeah, so do we. I've got fiber coming into the house. Really? So do I. Well, yeah. folks, there's a big advertisement for fiber. It's either him or me. Almost works. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Depending on the weather. Yeah. Um, so do you have back teeth? What? Are your teeth in the back of your mouth? Yeah. Do you have back teeth? Teeth in the back? Yeah. Uh, 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 okay. I don't. We pulled two of them. So now I don't know how to eat anymore. Because apparently you well, used you know, to chew on your look, back can teeth. I, can I say something? And I don't mean to be rude when I say this. But you not being able to eat may be a good thing. I never, ever change, no matter if I'm out, right? I rode my bike for a year. I rode, I walked around Walmart for two years, same 346 pounds. Really? You've never lost weight? Yeah. Never lost a single pound. See, the only reason why I would want to see you lose weight, I mean, I'm sure people have said to you over the years, why don't you lose some weight, Chuck? And, um, and smaller and, casket. Yeah. And what? You know, I get a smaller casket then. Just yeah, well, a casket. Here's the thing. I just think as the years go on, you're how old now? Oh, 65, 65. You're, uh, you're all, you're 19 years younger than me. Right. With that weight, you yeah. think you're going to live to be my age? Um, maybe. I don't know. How do you figure that? You can't figure that out. Yeah, I just want the actuarial to, yeah. table would say yes. Yeah. Well, I just like to see you feel better. If I don't, you know, don't you get tired? Yeah, of I feel fine with yeah. me. I, I, you know, I don't feel bad. I have a bad back. The weight loss. If I lose weight, my back, the bones in my spine get really loose, and they actually hurt more. So it's good to have that protection and layer of fat around me <laughs> back there. I never heard that one before in my life. It, it's, well, my back's it's, killing it's me, but if, if if I lose weight, it'll hurt more. You know. It will. Yeah. And I, I've I've lost a couple three pounds, and you can feel the 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 spine at the bottom of my base of my back mm -hmm. move. Yeah. Oh, and hey, you don't man, want that to I just, it hurts. I just got breaking news on my phone, on my watch, rather. Rudy Giuliani filed for bankruptcy days after he was ordered to pay $148 million. Shocking. Yeah, yeah. Rudy, America's mayor, what happened? Yeah, well, today they, they t said, uh, the judge in the case said, start paying these people off. Start, right. Start selling stuff. How did he, what's he got to sell? Was he married to his cousin? He he's America's mayor. Well, I thought he was married to his cousin at one point. Mm. Oh, he was, I think. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. That's a winner right there. Then there was something about <laughs> what's what, he going to do? What, when he was married to this actress or something? What he when he told her he was breaking up? He didn't up know. 
You didn't no. know they were cousins or something? No, that no that that wasn't that wasn't the one he married. The one I'm thinking of, I'm trying to remember her name now. She was like a TV personality, actress, hmm. thing like that, yeah. And no he idea. divorced her, and there was some way in which he did it that was, oh, I think he did it by announcing it on television, and she didn't know. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, real, real classy guy. Rudy is a bit weird, yeah. Oh, hey, I got the glasses on today. These are the Facebook uh, 2.0 glasses that do um, streaming video. <laughs> what are you watching right now? No, nothing. There's something that displays, but as you can see, you see the little white light yeah. flashing? Yeah. That means that it's recording video onto my glasses. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can't see the video. You can just record it, and then it downloads to your phone, and you can do all kinds of stuff with it. So I like them. Could you, I've could, had you a lot of could you send me the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send me the video. Yeah, I will when I'm done with this. We I want, will. Uh, I want to we'll see that. What would it look like? You'd be looking at the TV screen or something, or the computer I'm screen. I'm, lo I'm looking at you. Listen to me. Listen to me. Here, here's an old guy. So, uh, so is it recording the TV screen? You got the TV on there? <laughs> See, maybe you should be missing a tooth in the front. Why not? No, they're really nice. They got 32 gigs in them. They'll stream, they'll play music, all kinds of crap. And they cost about the same as a regular pair of Ray-Bans. They're Ray-Ban glasses. Really? And how much do they cost? How much did this little thing cost? I'll say $299, Twenty-five something. So, like when you and Marjorie are in the park, you have the glasses on, and and it would stream your little conversation. You don't have to hold the phone. No, but but it won't show me. It'll only show what no. I'm looking at, right? Right. Oh, and you know what else it'll do? If you ask the glasses what you're looking at, it'll tell you. Really? Okay. Why don't you ask it what you're looking at? That's a good idea. I got it. I think I don't know. Uh, hey Meta. Oh Meta. 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 Not talking. Why? For three hundred bucks, it really again. works well. Yeah, yeah. Well, you wait till you see the video. The video is really nice. Hey Meta. Eh, it's not talking. That's weird. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, uh, anyway, so when we first, uh, when we first, talk? When we first uh, uh, hooked up here today, you said it's been a terrible week for you? Well, uh, mom, still dead. Yeah. I was with a social worker yesterday. I was with a social worker yesterday. And we'll get to the end of why I was there, but uh, I met the social worker. And she goes... Um, uh, and I'd met this woman before. She goes, "Sorry about, uh, sorry about your mom." And uh, I go, "Yeah, she's still not returning calls." And the woman looks at me like, "What the, you know, what the fuck's wrong with you?" And my stepdad was laying there because I was up visiting him. He's in the hospital. We'll get to that in a second. And he goes, "Ed, she looks like, should I laugh? Should I not laugh? What should I do?" And my stepdad looks up and goes. Yeah, she's not calling me either. What's the deal? And we both look at each other and laugh, and I think she wanted to slowly skulk her way out of the room. It's, you know, what do you It's freaking horrible. Why do you have a social work? Okay. Well, stepdad is in the hospital in not great condition. He's got diabetes. Um, heart problem, not good. And so I've been managing him. And of course, I had to tell him his wife died while he's in the hospital, which is freaking great, yeah. my dad. So he doesn't have any time to grieve. I have no time to grieve. So if you have Medicare slash an Advantage plan, you end up with all these other people trying to help you out. One of them is the social worker. Mm -hmm. and she'll come in and 
you know, what can we do for you? And then the insurance company comes in and goes, you know, he's, um, I don't think we need to give him any more services. Literally. And I'm like, no. Is this, he had a stroke. And like, well, he, he, he had a stroke, right? He had two, he had you, two know, strokes, you, so. you do know Will Durst uh, right. had a major We're stroke about three years ago. Right. He he's has, doing pretty good. What? I think he's doing pretty good, Will. Uh, I mean, he's not home, hey, but come on, he's you know, he's baby. been he's been in a nursing facility for three years. That's not, you know, that's not getting right. better. Getting better I mean, he's is not that you, walking, but he's also not, you know. Well, you know, I, it, I, I agree. He could have done. Certainly, he has his wits about him, and he can make a joke and things like that, you know. But what I'm saying, the right. story is that he had to have physical therapy. Now, if you have a stroke and you have physical right. therapy, the fact is the physical therapy should have to be quite extensive, you know? Uh, right. And um, right. they only gave him like 10 weeks or something like that a year, you know? Right, and, and then you're, you're going, you're going wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right. Don't, don't you want to just see this guy get better? You know, what, you only give them so much right. therapy and say, well, next year you'll be able to move the little finger. Good, terrific, see you next year. I mean, it's just, bull it's bull right. No, you know, it's terrible. Uh, you're, you're, it's you're, really bad and there are, there are finite numbers for therapy. There are finite numbers for nursing care. All these things and the insurance company wants to come in there and go, well, you know, he's got 20 weeks here and then, um, have you thought about hospice? I'm like, the guy's sitting up talking to me. He's not, you know, he's not laying there not saying a word. We're talking about stuff and we're carrying on conversations. Yeah. No, he can't walk because you won't get him up and walk him. Yeah, you need get him up. Needs, so I got him your, doing a He needs your help, you know. And, right. and they no, don't no. give it and to I him. And I got news for you. Everybody who is in that situation, Will, my stepdad, they all need that help. They all need well, I think an that advocate, the, the, just the, an asshole. The Medicare, which I'm sure he's getting, should, for sure. stroke people, say, we're gonna give you physical therapy till the physical therapist says, you can go home, you know? Right, now they have no... Um, so he's gotta wait like a year or something, or six months. Or something before they let him do right. it again? He's yeah. been laying there for a week now, this time, and uh, getting none. And every time they come in, he goes, I need physical therapy. I, I've got him with a little mantra. Whenever, whenever he sees a medical professional, he says, I need physical therapy. I got him just annoying the crap the out of him is, because that's how is, you though, get help. The thing is, is and then, yeah, but the thing, the thing is, that he can complain to them all he wants to. They can't do anything about it. It's a, it's a, it's the uh, it's they the Medicare people. people. What? what do no, you no, mean? it's the insurance people. It's the Medicare Advantage folks. Oh, oh me Medicare Advantage. Those guys. Forget it. That is the worst. Yeah. Thing you can get. Exactly. Yeah, they come in and literally will go. You know. Oh, hey, have you thought about hospice? Like, what are you talking about? We're not there, we're over here. And by the way, 70% of the people in this country who are baby boomers are gonna need long-term health care. 70%, yeah. You hear, you know, Mr. Bozo here discussing this. 70, you know, seven in 10 of us are gonna need long-term health care. You know who gets long-term health care? Nobody. My There's wife, no my wife has. A, There's had, no advantage for it. Yeah, my well, my wife has a long-term plan that she pays into right. all the time. But, it was but to begin with, to begin with, you have to assume that when you die, you're going to die long-term. A lot of people just right. get a heart attack and fall right there, you, and then all of a sudden they paid out Medicare. all this money to an insurance company for long-term health care. And long-term health and Medicare, care is only uh, for like a couple of months or something. You know. Yeah, and and look at Jimmy Carter. A year in hospice. 
and he's still with us. Yeah. It, it doesn't make sense. They're idiots, and it's like we need long-term health care in this country, and it needs to be part of Medicare. And I'm going to scream about this forever because yeah, of course. I'm going to need course. it. Look, you might look, need it. Look, step you, step you know, I, I, in England, you get sick, you go to the hospital, whatever they do, you may be in there a month. And when you walk out, there is no, there is no place you go to pay the bill. Because yeah. there is no bill. I don't understand it. And, and the nice thing is the doctors hate the insurance company. Every doctor I've well, talked to, well, and well, I've talked to a lot lately, yeah, well, here, but, they're but, like, oh, oh, they hate advantage. Screw those people. They hate advantage. Because advantage yeah, yeah, yeah. tells them, yeah. no, we can't do that, or here's what you have to charge for it, and blah, blah, blah. They're, I mean, th what happens with advantage is insurance companies take on the responsibility of Medicare. They manage your health care. They, they manage, they literally, Medicare goes, okay, we're going to pay you so much a month and nothing to do with you, okay? So yes. you get a, a, a advantage and they pay what they're going to pay. And I saw a thing the other day where advantage is killing hospitals. Oh, they're yeah. literally, literally going broke because Advantage it won't pay. They just won't pay. My step. I, I say this My to step. people, and I, it's a horrible thing. I hate doing it, too. But luckily, right now, Marjorie's company is paying for it, but in April, we're going to have to. We each pay about $320 a month for, uh, right. what do you call it, the other service, which is an Advantage, uh, a, su a supplemental. And okay. what happens with supplemental, anything I want, I do it. I go to any hospital, any doctor right. I want to go to. If I'm on, on the moon, if there's a hospital there, I can use the moon hospital, okay? And and they pay everything. They pay yep. the other 20%. That's it. I don't worry about it. I just walk out of the place, say, talk to my insurance company. You That's know? how I'm set up. Yeah. Now, with him... He was in, okay, so he's he's getting physical therapy, mm -hmm. and he's not moving very much, so he's not progressing, okay? They they stick me in a room with the Advantage folks, and they're like, he's not progressing, so we're going to change his baseline abilities to, I can't do crap. And I went, what? Well, yeah, in the last three weeks, he has only taken one step. Uh, and I'm going, you morons don't know who you're talking to. I go, okay, yeah, that's that sounds great. I go over to my my man, and I say, okay, you're still doing therapy, right? And he goes, yep. And I go, every day, take another step. Okay, today you take one step, tomorrow you take two, the day after that you take three, four, five. Another week comes by because they have these meetings every week. Another week comes by, I'm in there with the Advantage folks. They're like, um, about his uh, baseline. I go, yeah, you had his baseline and he can't walk. I go, how do you feel about it? And they're like, uh, uh, we have a problem. And I go, what's the problem? And I go, well, he's 500% above his baseline now. He's got five, he took five steps. I go, oh, so you were wrong. And they're like, well, um, we're going to have to watch this. And I go, yeah, we're going to watch it all right. The next day, seven steps, eight steps, nine steps. And then he jumps it to 15. <laughs> <laughs> they lost their mind. It was like. Well, see, because they got to pay. See, I, here's the. Here, I, we're going to. I took 15 we gotta steps. Go, we got to go here in about a minute and a half. But all right. the thing is that the, what's terrible about them is that the insurance company's out for a profit. Right. And they don't want to have to lose money on you. All right. And it's not the right. most expensive plan in the world. You know, that's why people right. take it. Do not take advantage. Bite no. the bullet. No. Go without a couple of lunches or something like that. Get the 300. It may be cheaper for you where you it's, live. It's about 300 bucks, I think. Yeah, 300 bucks. And get the supplemental because that way, especially at my age, no matter what happens to me, I got the supplemental, boom, I skate. You know, I just walk right yep. out. 
Do whatever you're yep. going to do. Oh, I need a, a heart transplant? Great. Put it in me. What? 20% to Medicare? Don't worry. My supplemental will take care. We'll cover that. Exactly. That's exactly what I do. And so if you're thinking about, you know, you're 65 or 64 and you're getting this information, yep. call Alex and Chuck and we'll give you a couple of tips. Yeah, on what a couple to of tips. A couple of tips. Hey, listen, good talking to you. Have a, have a Merry Christmas. You, you too, know? buddy. And I hope As too many people, and, not many people mistake you for Santa Claus because they'll be terribly wrong. Maybe next year. Maybe next year we'll dress up. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Chuck Farnham. Bye, Chuck. Have a happy, Bye, happy. Kids. Bye. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. How are you? Oh, you know what I got to do to lower myself here? Uh, <laughs> there we go. Okay. Hey, how are you, everybody? Uh, nice to see you. Nice to see you hanging out here. Uh, we uh, we have a whole bunch. We have what? Two people waiting for me. Uh, okay. Well, we'll have the two people on here, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll start the uh, start the little show here. Let's see here. Uh, admit all. Okay. And then we go. And um, let's see here. There, there we go. There's Charlie Wallace is going to be here. That was his name. Oh, and Brian. Nearly. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? Yeah. Hi. Happy birthday. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Here, here's Jeffrey <laughs> Stein. Here's, here's Jeffrey. That was Monday. Here's Jeffrey Stein coming on. Let's see what happens. Hey, Jeff. How are you? There we uh, no. We got, get two fish here. The fish are calling. Yeah, that's the forehead of, of Jeff Stein. He looks like he's. <laughs> Jeff, are you there, Jeff? Huh? Are you there? What's that? Yeah. yeah wow! You, wow! Let's all here have a, a, a please. Let's applaud him. He. he he did it tonight. No, bring it. Bring your head up a little more. A little more. A little more. It was just right the way it was. Yeah, that's good. What yeah. room are you in now, Jeff? Geez, we see every single room of all your relatives' house, your house. <coughs> it's all, warm. all of Florida, cruise ships. Yeah, you know. Florida anyway. soon. Yeah, yeah. My camera has been fl fl going, making little noises every now and then. I don't, know, I don't know if you've been noticing it. No, no. No. Okay, well, then I shouldn't bring it up because then people will pay attention to it and go, oh, oh, look, Alex Bennett's camera is screwed up. Anyway, so I, how you guys doing? Awesome. Good. Brian Neary, Charlie yeah, Wallace. For, for, nor, for normal work people, uh, our winter break has started today. Oh, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. nor normal companies, normal companies. Well, my company is still working. Manufacturing is still working. But office people get the 22nd off. This is our Christmas Eve. Yeah. We get holiday. Mm -hmm. And then Monday is Christmas Day. So mm -hmm. there's our holiday there. So, yeah. yeah. So, and then we have some days in the middle. And then we have the New Year stuff. So I don't go back to work until uh, January 9th. Oh, really? That's nice. Wow. Yeah, because yeah, I have I have uh, too much uh, too much vacation time built up, so I gotta take it. So take it out. Well, anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, uh, well, let me see here. Let me let me uh, let me um, try and, mm -hmm. and uh, talk about something here. Um, I would today we uh, tomorrow we were supposed they were supposed to go to court uh, on another deal. You know, I got this. I told you the whole deal with the with the guy I was supposed to pay. Seventy-five thousand dollars to oh, yeah. right, you know, <laughs> and I paid him uh, seventy. What was it? it was seventy-one thousand eight hundred because he still owed me back my mm -hmm. security deposit, and I just figured I eh, save the security deposit. This will yeah. make it easy on all of us, and you just uh, no no you know you, that way you've gotten all your money, you know, and um, so we were supposed to go to. Uh, they made an appointment for us to have my lawyer or, and his lawyer argue it out before our old judge, Judge Engerin, who is, you know, very famous now. 
but he made he put us up for tomorrow. Well, it turns out my lawyer can't go because he's going to be out of town. And the reason he's going to be out of town is why? It's Trump. Christmas time, right? Mm -hmm. And I stopped to think about it. Why in the world did he book a thing for us on uh, on on uh, the twenty second? Mm -hmm. Okay, the day before the the day before the Christmas weekend. All right, mm -hmm. long weekend, uh, and knowing that probably people wouldn't be able to show up, and it's at three thirty in the afternoon, so it's the very end yeah. of the week. Okay, so I'm thinking, geez, you know, I I, I wondered about this because who books an appointment for court? At three thirty, the week before Christmas. Yeah, I don't know. So anyway, I don't know. And then my lawyer said, "Well, I'll get back to you and let you know." I told him I can't go if they if they get back to me, and he never got back to me about them getting back to him. Mm -hmm. So he's on vacation. Yeah, my <laughs> lawyer's on vacation. Yeah, right. Well, no, I just you know I'm uh, I'm 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 getting a little tired of lawyers. I got another lawyer in this probate situation, and I just wrote them a while back and just said, uh, how is it coming along? You know, I'd like to know. Uh, never heard anything back from them. What is it with lawyers not returning emails? You know? I love my lawyer. You love your lawyer? Do you really? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's married. He's Pam. Uh, he's what? Oh, it's Mary's Pam. Pam. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. I've only had two lawyers in my whole life. Really? Got two divorces, yeah. <laughs> I I was lucky. I had a mediator. We we settled it ourselves and signed a paper and it was done. No lawyers, good. no nothing. Oh good. That's fine. That's a good, that's the way to go, right? There's nothing wrong with that. That's good. So anyway, that that said that that, that so I, I, I have no idea what was happening with that, but quite frankly, I've gotten to the point where I don't care anymore. I just don't care. I refuse to let the lawyers or landlords or anybody get me upset any longer because then they win okay so, so anyway hey listen i got a, a, a something for all of you um uh, it's advice for the audience okay mm -hmm. and advice for you here because it's and it's the best advice i'm ever going to give you uh i don't know uh if, if any of you are aware but there is a movie that is out about the life of, or based on the life of, uh, Leonard Bernstein. It's called Maestro. Mm. Are you aware mm. of this film? Uh, you know, they've been promoting it like Bradley, crazy. Bradley Cooper, right? Yeah, Bradley Cooper directed <laughs> it. Uh, let me say, we watched it yesterday. And I'm here to tell you and to give you some very special advice. Under no conditions, watch this film. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're playing it up big time. It is yeah. it is wow. the worst piece of crap I've seen this wow. year. Okay? And Marjorie wow. agrees with me, by the way. It is, it's one of those films they make that is only made for one reason, to beg you to give them an Academy Award. Oh, no. oh yeah, because you say yeah. that. All these people that, well, to, that yeah. play people in movies, they always win in the Well, what, what it is, is they're going to go, wasn't that makeup great? <laughs> yep. Didn't didn't he do a great impression of, of Leonard Bernstein? And it, you go, yeah. But there was no acting involved in this, okay? Well, just do this, right? It, it, it is, it, well, you know, he took, he took six months to learn to conduct for this film. And he really should have spent that time going to director's school and learning how to direct, all right? <laughs> he, he was spending his money on the wrong stuff. Um, so anyway, I mean, that, really, it's horrible. It's just horrible. It's just, it is, his, his acting is mediocre. Um, the script is dull. The film is boring. I mean, it is really a terrible, terrible film. And yet they're getting all this publicity and everything. Oh, this is a great picture, and he's going to get nominated. But what? For what? For what? And you watch. What movie? Uh, huh? Maestro. 
Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, hmm. you know, is there something wrong with your camera or something? Are you doing this a different way than you normally do it? Yeah, you're kind of squished. Yeah, I, I tried doing it with my my DSLR camera, and uh, it makes me, it, I don't know what it's doing to me. I'll, I'll switch to the other one. Yeah, it's, it's I, I don't know why it's like that. That's right, by the way. Uh, I like the but it, no, really, it is such a ter it is such a terrible movie. I can't believe it. You know, and yeah. and uh, I I hate these movies that come out around Oscar time that are just yeah. begging for you to give them an Oscar. Mm. You know, uh, and and uh, it, it, it he uh, I I I just I just found it unbearable. It was just boring. And then it's like it's in black and white, and then it's in color, you know, kind of like Oppenheimer. Oh, but there's no. no reason for it. And then he does it in the uh, in the three uh, four to one ratio. And then sometimes it's a little wider than that, and sometimes it's smaller. And for oh, no right. reason at all, there's no reason for it. You know. So I mean, it's just it's horrible. It's just horrible. So don't waste your time. And it, you can just, you know, you can waste your time because it's on Netflix. So, you know, what, what kind of investment do you have to make except your ass getting hard, you know? So anyway, that's my advice to you, and you'll thank me for it. But if you watch it, if you watch it, I'd like to know. So I want to see if you agree with me, you know? Uh, John Wright on, on the chat, he agreed with you. Who? Uh, John Wright yeah, I was disappointed too. Only yeah. about his m marriage and no indication of the genius and love for music. Yeah, it's all about his marriage. Oh. It, you know, and I mean, there was more to this guy than that. You know, people are going to walk away and say, oh, he was a gay guy who was married to a woman and had kids. But um, that's all they want. Gonna, you know, other people don't know what he did for a living. Oh, yeah, he conducted because... He, the guy conducted, you know. I mean, uh, it's just, it, you're absolutely right, you know. Well, it's thank a, you. I appreciate you saving me two and a half hours or whatever. Yeah, Ber Bernstein was bi, okay. Yeah, basically, he, they say he was bi, but you wouldn't know it from this movie because the only woman he has sex with is his wife. Everybody else is a guy. Hmm. So, you hmm. know, uh uh, he loved his m music and had a talent for explaining it. Yes, none of that was in the film. But really? Oh well, when God. I was a kid, when I was younger, uh, they had the he had the Young People's concerts. Okay, that he did mm -hmm. for CBS, in which he explained to kids music. He was wow. wonderful. It was the, those were wonderful shows. That while I knew a lot about music because my father was a musician, and he taught me a lot about it. These taught me a lot more, you know, and it was wonderful. It was just terrific. Uh, and, and that wasn't even represented in the film at all. Jeez. Okay. It's a great disservice to uh, Bernstein. I think. Yeah, that's the reason why I I'd watched the movie. Yeah, yeah. So, but, you know, it's, it's, if you got uh, Netflix, it, it's not going to cost you anything. And you're not gonna. What's happening to your camera and everything? <laughs> God, that's annoying. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> well, I never. Well, no. What happens? I can't get it to recognize the other camera, so I was trying to straighten this one out. Oh. I was trying to make you happy, but I won't do anything well, anymore. You you make me happy just by calling. Okay. 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 All right. And 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 the love you give, you know. It's wonderful. It's worth the love. It's worth the yeah. love. Yeah. So anyway, so here we are. As my father used to say, "Christmas is at our throats again." Mm-hmm. Yeah, know. I agree. Uh, you agree? Yep. Yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, it, it, it's it's. I was thinking about it the other day, you know, and they go, How "Wonderful time of year Christmas is, it's just terrific," and uh, and all I can think of is all the people who there's a high rate of suicide this time of year. Yeah, you know, because you've got a holiday that says to people who don't have anybody, there, see, you don't have anybody. Go go, go shoot yourself. <laughs> I like it now. <laughs> huh? 
Nah. I miss my mother around this time. But I do get a little emotional. You only you should miss be her. full of joy. You only miss her because you got your <laughs> presents. You know, come on. Yeah, Alex, and you saved me $20 for Maestro. I was ready to bring back Netflix to watch it, but I'm glad you said it stunk. I'll wait another month or two to get it back oh, now. Oh, no. I'll you, read the biography I got on the shelf on oh, Bird oh, no, for, uh, for you, I will suggest you watch it. Yeah. <laughs> really? Get some, coffee. get some coffee and watch it. Oh, I got my, I'm going to read his body. Man, I said, oh, man. Once you said it's stunk, I, I'll, t I'll take your word for it. Oh, it's horrible. It's just horrible. Marjorie was looking for it. I was going to get it back because it looked she interesting, and I was going to read his biography. I got the book I bought. She said, now I'll read the book. I won't even watch the movie they, anytime they, soon. They, re they released it yesterday. I'm not missing anything. They released then. it yesterday, and as soon as it was on, Marjorie had to watch it. No, let's wait for let's wait for tonight, Marjorie, because it's nice to watch those things at night. Well, I no, got the email. I we got my straw. I got to watch it. Come back. it. Yeah. I got to watch it right yeah. now, and then... About halfway through, she looked at me and went, "I like him." Yeah. This so how bad was he, let Alex? Me, let me show you. Let me show you the. Re I'll give you the best review she gave this film. Okay. okay I said to her, "What picture was better, this or Barbie?" Mm -hmm. And she said, "Barbie <laughs> oh, by shit. a mile." I saw Barbie with my knees. I like <laughs> Barbie oh, by man. a mile. So if Barbie, my is niece the, loved that movie. I didn't get it. Yeah, if Barbie is better <laughs> than Maestro, hello, you know. <laughs> oh man, now it's gonna be a pile of crap. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll wait. I get Netflix back in January then. Hmm. So I'll, I'll see if something. I'll, you know, I was gonna ask you: Was that the only time they ever made a movie on him, or was that the first time they ever did anything yeah, for him? Or the first time. Okay, so yeah, that may have been a documentary or something. They must have documentaries. Yeah. yeah. Oh, on a side note, Rudy filed bankruptcy, Alex. Good news. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so well, hopefully yeah. these women start getting some money from him. I don't well, know. I, the, I don't care if you're no, going to beat it out of them. I, I, those women are not going to get a rotten cent. Okay. Yeah. Let, me let, me, let me explain why. Go ahead. Okay. First of all, uh, I'm sure these women made a deal with their lawyers that they were doing it pro bono. It's the, the you don't pay the lawyers anything. They take a percentage after the money is settled. Okay, and I'm sure the, any deal with a lawyer is they get their money before you get yours. So if they like get twenty five percent, let's say they're going to take their twenty five percent before that you even get your money. They're going to be lucky if they can even get their twenty five percent. Okay. Because the, the he's and even though he's going bankrupt, uh, it's gonna it'd be pretty hard to get the money there. Okay, so uh, I think the lawyers yeah. are gonna come out probably okay, but the these three two two women are you know you, 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 don't don't plan on those vacations. Okay, I'm hoping he drops dead in his sleep. Then I can't stand the guy out. Yeah, yeah. Tony, you're freezing. Like hoping crazy. to get a million dollars each. Yeah, Tony's frozen. Yeah, yeah, that's well, a good, now, now that, was a, okay. that was a better picture of you for a while. Oh, I froze? <laughs> well, now, yeah, you froze. Well, now it's frozen again. Yeah, just keep your mouth shut and then talk like a ventriloquist and you'll, you'll be fine when you freeze up. Yeah, you'll be okay. Don't worry. It'll it'll clear up, I'm sure. Although you're down in the basement now, aren't you? Tony? <laughs> Tony? <laughs> I like it this way. Tony? He's not right. talking. Hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> He's gone. So, He's there. Anyway, uh, but uh, am I right? I mean, it, 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 they're probably yeah. not going to see any money, you know. Uh, I am afraid you're right. And I'm sure. I'm sure that the um, uh, that the the lawyers are going to take their money off the top if, in fact, there's any money for them to get. So, you know, but but if he goes bankrupt. That he still can't go bankrupt to keep them from getting the money. So I don't know. I don't know what the story is there. But the reason he's he's going bankrupt is he owes his lawyers what five and a half million dollars, something yeah. like that. Oh my god! And Trump won't pay him what Trump owes him. Well, you know what? This, this, <laughs> this is what a friend. You don't want Trump as a friend. All oh right, my god. you know. 
because <laughs> it, it, this is a friend who you go to the wall with him. You go around the country and you tell people that they're, you know, that they were cheating and that they were passing notes back and forth to each other in the election room, you know, the counting room, when it was a tic tac or something like that, a ginger snap or something. I can't remember what yeah. it was. Ginger candy, uh, and 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 then he, you get in trouble for it, but and it's starting to cost you money in lawyers. And is Trump saying? Hey, let me help take care of part of this. You know, I got a lot of money coming in from people who are putting money into my defense fund. We'll give some of it to you. Do you think he's even helping Rudy? No. No, no, not even beginning to help Rudy. And since he's a billionaire, this is just like chump change to him. Yeah, well, if he is a billionaire. I, yeah, but Trump. Then, so that's, but this... then again, New York State has kind of proven he isn't a billionaire. That's right. You know, but still, what kind of a friend is he? Not much. You know, I mean, he's terrible. So what the hell? You know, you want to make a joke about Trump here now? Huh? Alan? No. Oh, OK. No. okay. Alan, Alan's through making Trump jokes. For the day. Don't kid a guy when he's down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Ray, what do you think about all of this? What about Giuliani? Uh, Giuliani? Giuliani, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like Alex Jones, like he's ever going to pay a billion dollars to the Sandy Hooks people. It's yeah. just, it's, it's all just uh, um, a gesture. I think they should have and, just. I think they should have ch uh, charged him with uh, kind of a, you know, a. a, a just Criminal. a smaller amount, a smaller amount of money. I mean, like you smaller. know, fifty bill, fifty million. All right, or twenty. Same thing happened million. with, right? Something, the same thing happened with OJ. I just heard the other day he's hardly paid, hardly anything, to the Goldman family. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, a, a pittance. Yeah, but you know, and I have to say about OJ. I remember when he got charged. The first thing he did was go, uh, and open an account in Zurich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember like two days later he left and he went to he went to Switzerland. Who was this? OJ, OJ Simpson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, um it, it's funny. OJ wasn't found guilty in the in the criminal No, but case. I'm talking but he but, but he was but, found but, 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 negligent uh, yeah, in, in, in the civil yeah. trial in, in the civil, and he it, owed a lot of money and he hasn't paid in, in the nearly. civil trial but there's so little you you don't have to prove very much in a civil trial like that nope and it only has to be a majority in the in the jury yeah. it doesn't have to have to be doesn't unanimous to be beyond a reasonable doubt right. it doesn't have to be unanimous either right so, I mean, as, uh, you know, they managed to get him for something. Actually, they got him. How they got him was the, the, the uh, remember the Las Vegas thing where he wound yeah. up in jail yeah. for, what, 10 years? Something like that? Yeah, for assault with a you deadly know, weapon. Well, that, was, that was getting him for that other case, you know? It, it, right. Uh, who, uh, the, what, what happened, what he did, he was going, he, literally. This Baseball guy, card. This, well, this was stuff that was his. Yeah. memorabilia yeah but he went after the people with guns in their uh yeah. hotel room yep he had yes. threatened them to shoot him yeah. he didn't go yeah. in with the guns though no he 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 brought two people with him that had guns with them yeah, yeah. he went in with two guy two muscle guys yes. but supposedly right. like uh, one of his big trophies was part of that loot that these guys yeah. had yeah. you know and they yeah. just he simply he had the heisman his, trophy I think. He, yeah the heisman trophy he, wa right. he wanted his stuff back. I, d I don't well, think it was that, just yeah. It was just retribution for him getting off on, on the murders. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, it was. He's it was, still incarcerated. No, 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 he's out. Well, he's been out a long time. That's yeah. too bad. So you and he, owe, he yeah. owes the you know, gold. Uh, Alan billion. doesn't pay attention to any of the news. No, <laughs> you know? not anymore. <laughs> Why? Yeah. You know, the, the one thing I expected you to bring up saying how sad the Christmas it is, is there's a lot of people that are dying daily near Bethlehem right now. Near Bethlehem. Really? It's a place called... Well, they, they're a lot closer than we are to it, yes. Yeah. Gotcha. The yeah. Palestinians, so, yes. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's very sad what's happening over there. Well, finally, our president today said that uh, um, you know, really, they should get out of Gaza. You know, Israel should quit Gaza. They've killed over twenty thousand people. Now. Twenty thousand yep. people. This is ridiculous. Well, it is the perfect definition it's of so oh, it's the perfect definition of overkill. Yeah, you know that's for sure. I mean. Uh, and, and the sad part about it was when this whole thing happened with Hamas, Israel had the sympathy of the world, you know, no. and and they, they, it, they, they, they had a they had a cash of goodwill on their side that was incredible. And what did they yep. do with it? They wasted it. And now nobody has sympathy for them, you know. Uh, I mean, it, 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 it's pretty terrible what, what's happened. And, and I think Netanyahu, if those people keep him in office any longer, uh, it's going to be too long, you know? You know, it's not only 20,000 dead, it's twice as many severely injured. Uh, it's the, the whole infrastructure the, of the area is destroyed. Right. It's, and, it's horrible. And, tw and, and, 20, and it's not only 1,200 dead in Israel. It's a lot of people injured too, so it, it has two sides to every story. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. How, how many injured in Israel? We don't know. No, They're not releasing in, in, that. In Israel, a couple thousand maybe. Wait a minute, in okay. Israel, no, yeah. no. They, they, there was twelve hundred. There were two hundred and fifty people who were ki were kidnapped and held hostage, yeah. and the rest were people who were hurt. Out of the twelve hundred, so you're wrong about the number. No, the twelve hundred that they threw died. out there. What? 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 What would you say, Charlie? The twelve hundred people died. No, Those no. Were yeah. Were they yeah. dead? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. 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 And, okay. I mean, I don't know how many other casualties there were who didn't die, but well, it can't be even close to twenty thousand dead no. plus more and, casualties. And, and that's no, twenty. That's twenty thousand before they dig things up and try and get some of the bodies that are under the rubble. Yeah, we talked and, about and that's that only the dead. That's not counting all the horrible Any injuries. Any way you look at it, it's unfair. <laughs> all right. We always count the dead, but we forget about people who've lost limbs and who and yeah. who have like severe how, head injuries. How about and... children? So all who have, who, tr ch children who have been uh, uh, have been uh, affected by this and will be affected by it for the rest mm -hmm. of their lives. In both countries, well, there are a bunch of kids that are no, orphaned. You, no, don't parents. don't say both countries because of the two countries. Which one had the biggest losses? Well, obviously Gaza. Okay, well then let's just say exponentially. Exponentially, like, it's not even. There's no similarity. I'll give you. I mean, I'll give you three thousand in Israel. Okay, I'll give you three thousand. Okay, you know, how does that compare to twenty thousand? What? So, so the Palestinians, and it's not the majority of them. If Hamas had not bombed Israel, no, none of these people would be dying. <laughs> they have the right to defend you're, themselves. But you're blaming them for what Hamas did. Hamas is a terrible. No, Wait a no, minute, hold on a second. The, you should never no. ever think that I have any sympathy for Hamas or feel that Hamas should be off the hook on this deal. But there are twenty thousand people dead because of. Not because of what they did, okay? And the thing was, the, the people who, who killed them were the Israelis. You know, hey, come on. Mm -hmm. And they said they were going to go look for members of Hamas. Do you know how many they've found? Not many. We don't know. No, I think it's something in the neighborhood of maybe 15 Yeah, I heard in the news the yeah. other day, yeah, 200. Well, so well, Let's say it's 200. 200 Hamas and the rest are Palestinian children, you know, and, I, I and don't adults. Know. I, I, I agree that the, that the civilians are, are um, taking the heat from what Hamas did. I agree. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and, and I agree that it's sad. And how do you feel about the fact that because of the actions of, of uh, Netanyahu, there's been this rise exponential rise in 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 uh, in uh, uh i said it before and i'll say it again netanyahu and trump are a lot alike and maybe netanyahu is yeah even but more what he's done is he has caused this rise in anti-semitism in america absolutely 
because I, I and and, and let's say there were just people looking for an excuse to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, anti-Semitic. No anti-Semitic, no but he gave it to them. You know, he yep. gave them the sense of permission. No. Yep. And as a no Jew, I'm I'm not happy with that. Yes, uh, uh, Ray. Well, apparently, from what I read, um, Netanyahu for years has been placating Hamas because. He liked Hamas being in there because he knew he would never have to negotiate with them because he doesn't want a two-state solution. Um, whereas, whereas in the um, the uh, what's the other area there? The uh, the other West Bank. the West Bank they have the Palestinian Authority, which are more middle of the road, and mm. he doesn't like that because he might have to go with the two-state solution. So you know this completely backfired on him. His, his, it's, his, it's, it's backfired his, on us too. We've done the same thing. We have we have funded terrorists, Osama bin Laden and stuff. So, yep. you know, I I, I don't well, we don't we don't. What really does that have know, to do with? We don't really know other than what the the. Well, media this time it could reports. be it could be uh, said no, that no. we've been funding terrorists this time in Netanyahu. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I. No, I, I know I, we've done the same thing. I mean, we we're. We're, we're wrong both, and they're wrong. We're but, both you know, imperialist. I think, I, if I have anything against Joe Biden, is how slow he's been to do something about this situation in Gaza. He should have been stomping on Netanyahu and saying, "You want money from us? You better stop this right now, you jerk." You know, there are people <laughs> dying here, and he didn't do anything about it. He just kind of hemmed and hawed. Well, they have a right to defend themselves, and blah 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 blah. It's mm. the typical U.S. statement towards Israel, just towing the line. Well, uh, it, it, I say it is a anti-Semitic attitude. Let me explain this, as I, and it may sound weird. I agree with you, but it is based on the myth the Jews have money. And if we don't support Israel, we're not going to get m money for our campaigns from American Jews. Right, right. We have to placate them all the time because of that. That's yeah. the attitude. Yeah, right. So it's been that way for since the beginning. Yeah, um, I mean, Biden's since got they a lot were of issues. Yeah, Biden's got a lot of issues. The border right now is well. A big the border, issue. you know, the border. I don't, I don't blame on him. I, the border, it's exactly him. the same policies as Trump, isn't it? Basically. No. But, I mean, yeah. uh, he, There were still millions pouring over during Trump. Well, Marjorie time. keeps saying to me, Not why don't they just stop now. these people from oh. coming uh, coming across? I and know. I said, I don't think you really can stop it. It's it's no. like this this uh, siege, you know? Yep. And, mm. and you can, Widen the Rio Grande. There's no real way to stop it. You're, I mean... But, 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 but Biden is not willing to slow it down. This whole problem was, was started by, by Trump. You know, Trump wasn't stopping them at the border. No. You know, he, was only causing, of, he was only causing more of a problem. What were you going to say? What? I was just saying there were, I know that there were many, many people every day coming in when Trump was president. I don't know what the, the numbers are, the difference, but I don't think it's that much different. It's just in the past couple of days that there's been this a horrible rise in people coming across you know yeah i mean it, it's been t it's terrible uh but it's a humanitarian crisis these people are, are fleeing a lot of them a lot of these the current ones venezuelans mm -hmm. uh tr trying to uh, get away from venezuela where things are pretty horrible and yet is our government doing anything to just slap the hand of maduros down there in venezuela no in fact, if anybody seen with Maduro, so you see what he looks like? He looks like anybody I would get from central casting to play a South American dictator. <laughs> you know? Um, but that's, yeah. you know, so. Anyway, it's, 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 it, it's a terrible situation. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the Republicans are making a big deal out of it because one of the few things they have that they can hold against, uh, uh, uh Biden because Biden otherwise has a pretty good record on a few things, yeah. you know, uh, the economy is on a rise, uh, uh, the cost of goods is getting cheaper again. I mean, uh, the, go to the gas station, I mean, except in California. 
uh, gas is, I saw somewhere, some places, $2.50 a gallon. Pretty good, huh? What is it yep. now? Do you know, uh, Jeff, in, in Connecticut? Yeah, we're paying around three bucks. Around three bucks. Wow. But that's the lowest it's been in a couple of years, right? Yeah. yeah. I just filled up yesterday for two thirty nine a gallon. Wow. And how yeah, high? It's only $2 cheaper than here. <laughs> how how high did it get? Uh, well, right, right now it's around four. Three ninety five. No, I'm talking we about, got up, I'm talking about if you're getting regular. If you're like yeah, buying regular, regular, I guess the premium and it's four sixty five is good right now. Yeah. Yeah. But it's stupid because you have places like where Ray lives, there's like a place in Menlo Park or Palo Alto and it's like seven something. It's like stupid because all these rich people mm. live where Ray lives. Yeah, but but you know what, Brian? I live about a half a mile from one of the cheapest gas stations in the Bay Area, too. Oh, wow. Near, over near Costco there in Mountain mm -hmm. View. It's so right it's weird. It's like you go you go over on El Camino, it's almost seven bucks a gallon. Yeah. And then you go over wow. there a, a mile and a half away, and it's like three fifty. dollars yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. It's, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. I don't understand it. Because people, I know I mean, what it is. Because the rich people... They pay they're not going to drive another two miles to, yeah. to save money yep. on gas because they don't care anyway. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I, in San Francisco, uh, you, you could, if you were on a main street, a main drag, the gas always costs more money than it did with if you were off the main drag. Oh, yeah. You know, like a 19th Avenue there is expensive. Well, what, what's the street that could Lombard, right? Lombard or 19th? Lombard. Both of them are super Lombard. Expensive. The cost yeah. of gas on Lombard Street could be something like three dollars. This was a few years ago, but three dollars. And then you go to some gas station off the beaten path, and it's a dollar less. And I'm going, don't these people know? Don't buy your gas here. Yeah. You know, I never bought gas there unless I saw that somehow they were having some kind of a price war going on. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But I'm going to Massachusetts tomorrow. Yeah. We'll get gas there. How much is it up there? I think it's sub substantially less. Yeah. What I what that means? Twenty five bucks. Yeah. You know, yeah. A gallon when you fill it up. But anyway, nobody's giving uh, Biden credit for all the good he's done. I mean, he's done a lot of good stuff. Name some stuff. Gas prices. Okay. Wait a minute. He didn't. He didn't have anything to do with them going up. How does he have anything to do with them going down? Because he did some measures to make them come down. Unemployment's at the lowest rate it's been in a long, long time. Uh, inflation is going down. Gas prices are are going down. We joined. We we got back into the international community for uh, climate change. I mean, you want me to go on or? Yeah. Well, I'll just go on with something that 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 he has control over. He has control over well, all of Well, and I guess things. President they doesn't... They blame him when they go think, the other way. Well, but yeah, uh, when they, they say it, the Republican says he has control over all those things, so I guess he no, must. But we don't agree with them, but when the, when the, when things drop, then we agree that it's okay. I'm just being sarcastic. I don't think he has control over gas prices, but he does have control over our 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 relationship to the international community the, in terms of climate it, change. Look, and, look he has no, he, he has no, he, he, the great myth is that he has control over the border. And he, he does has, have he, some, some economic control over uh, macro things like uh, unemployment and interest rates and all that yeah, stuff. But he what does I'm have saying some is, it, it, what they say is that they try to blame him for the border. Well, right. I, I don't think he has anything to do with the border. Now he could just say, don't let him in. But that's a humanitarian crisis you got on your hands. And uh, the fact is that, uh, 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 you know, it, because all of a sudden it was really high the last couple of days, you can't blame that on him. You got to blame it on people who are swimming across the Rio Grande and dropping themselves in the United States. You know, yeah, what, we what can't can shoot he, them. What, yeah, what can he do to <laughs> stop them? Shoot them? Yeah. Well, they exactly. put up that barbed wire and people went shit, ape shit. So, I mean, yeah. what are you going to do? And then they put up that 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 snake in the river or whatever, and people yeah, that's were, what I mean. Yeah, people, people were drowning from that. That was put yeah, up getting by the, caught and drowning by and, the governor you know. of, of Texas. You know, I mean, it's just 
it's a it's a horrible situation, but it's nothing that he, it was started by Trump. Okay, it was started yep. by Trump, and it reached a, a pretty high level, didn't it, uh, Charlie? While Trump was, because uh, you're down there in Texas, it hit a pretty yeah. high level while Trump was still in office. Huge, yeah, you know, uh, and because uh, you know, and I think I'll tell you where the situation started when he started putting down South Americans, when he started putting down the Mexicans, you know, oh, well, just. You know, they bring over their drug dealers and they bring over the this. And I suppose there are some good ones. It just pisses me off. He's like, they're pouring over the border. They're poisoning the blood of our country. And it's no different than when he was here. Right. Yeah. He's such a two-faced I bastard. mean, you want to talk about somebody who didn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, tell me something Trump did that was good, uh, Alan. You have to say something. it on much TV. That Trump did that was good, or Trump did was good. That Trump, Trump did, did that was good. I can't name anything. Okay, so why are you expecting me to say something Biden did? I'm not. I'm not good. comparing Biden to Trump, though. I'm just saying that that some of the things that have been said, I don't think Trump has any control over gas prices, um, <clears throat> job market. I mean, we're we're, we're in a oh, great he, job no, he, market he, he, because he, it's no, cyclical. He released some of the national supplies. But it didn't really affect yeah. the amount of money. Yes, it did. Forget. Yes, no. it did. Yes, it did. I, California was six over six dollars a gallon when he did that. Did and it, it or ten did, cents did, a did, gallon? Did it or didn't it, Charlie? Yeah, that's what it evened out the market a little bit. Yeah, 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 maybe. Yeah, it evened out the supply. Okay. Yeah. You know, In okay. Connecticut, we've got every single bridge road is being repainted, polished, cleaned up. I go, and everybody says, that's the president made that happen. Now, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's working. Well, it depends on where the money's coming from. If it's coming well, from the I government, then he did. Well, I see a lot of people working, did. that's all. Yeah, yeah. Well, I always ask people, I said, building, who do you so. know who's working and who do you know who's not working? I'll tell you what, if I want to be mad at Biden for something, uh, I'll be mad at him for the fact that we've got a real problem here in New York City because your governor, your good governor, has been sending all these people up here uh, and inundating the city with uh, as asylum seekers. And uh, we are we're getting to the point where we can't afford it anymore. It's just become too much of a burden for us. And unfortunately, we allowed ourselves to become a sanctuary city, which then made somebody like your governor down in Texas take advantage of that fact. You know, the, once they got here, we weren't going to throw them out. Uh, but it, it's gotten pretty bad here, and Biden has done nothing financially to help New York City take care of it. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. There you go. What yeah. did Trump do? Well, Trump wouldn't do anything either. No, of course not. Hmm. You know, yes, Ray. But you, I mean, what the, Biden signed this huge act? What was it, the American Rescue Plan Act or something like that? That had all kinds of facets to it that increased job growth, uh, helped lower <laughs> inflation. He, I mean, he did this. Oh, the, the employment. He rate, did this. The employment rate is at uh, at all time and it, high, and it had yeah. a huge effect. I mean, it is partially cyc cyclical, but he did. Do something to accelerate this, yeah. this fix. Well, uh, he didn't just sit. He did this. Well, when, it, you, when you sit down and you start thinking about, hey, shall I vote for Biden or shall I vote for Trump? Just remember, Trump got his shot once, and he didn't do anything. Yeah. Okay, he go ahead. He he, put up another. We well, did a lot of things, but mostly not good. Yeah, put up. How about put up Nikki Haley or somebody like that? Then you know, then you got yourself somebody where you can go. Well, you know, she might be okay. She might do an okay job. You don't mm -hmm. know, you know. But with Trump, he already auditioned for the job and he failed miserably. You remember with med the medical thing? It was repeal and replace Obamacare. He didn't how about, do a how damn about, how about thing. How about drinking bleach? He did yeah. nothing. And yeah, stick Zero. the fluorescent light in your body. Well, I if I he, didn't do anything. I think he got to bend right, over right, and, the, and the, right. well, let's shove one of those big eighteen-inch fluorescent lights up his ass. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, Maybe we can uh, <laughs> shoot some light in the body. We, we have that possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah whatever. He's also a great weatherman. You know, the National Weather Service is standing there saying the storm's going this way. He draws a circle and says it's going to go the other direction. The sharpie in, in the shape With of the sharpie. In, in the shape, yeah, of, yeah. In the shape of a penis. Oh, and then, yeah. <laughs> um, his and then, penis. Then, then we're having yeah. a solar eclipse, and they're all out on the on the veranda at the White House. Yeah, and everybody's he, got dark glasses except on. Except him, and he's just he, uh, yeah. yeah, he's, he's a up. man. Well, he's you an know, alpha. I don't want to go back and give a, a you know, a, a number of uh, his greatest hits, you know, <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's, it, it, it's. Where's Phil when you need him to, to, to tell us all the great things he did? Uh, he's Betty getting ready to take care of his hernia. He's at the Betty Ford Clinic, I think. Who? who? Phil has a hernia? Yeah. He's, he, tomorrow morning he has hernia surgery. Yeah, oh. I wrote him a little note and said, "Hope." Okay, so. how's that okay. done? Hmm? There was a thumbs up in your square a minute ago, Alex. Oh yeah. Oh really? For yeah. some reason, this has been doing this today. I can't remember what was the thing for for getting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't get it. I, I really I don't, don't get. get I don't. It. I don't know how you can do that, Chapman. Show non-participants. Oh, you mean we can put Phil in here, huh? No, I don't. I don't see how you can put a thumbs up. Hmm. That can was your settings, in? remember? The and I go to, I'm looking at the bottom thing here. Yeah, but the settings, I can't. Um, it's in your. Uh, we figured it out. That yeah, but I, I, I just night. brought it up, and I can't. Uh, I can't see it now. It's when you go like let's that. Let's try and this. Going to happen? Hmm? No. But uh, well, let me do this here. Hold on a second. Recognize yeah. gestures. Yeah, it was I don't know. It, it sometimes it does it. I don't know why. Ray right, is requesting. No, uh, don't, 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 don't. Ray, what did you do here? What did I do? Ray is requesting AI companion. Oh, because I was trying to do the thumbs up thing. No, Sorry. No. No, I think that was me. Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, I just yeah, I was just seeing what that was. Yeah, I thought that was the thing. Yeah, it's the it's fun, it's funny. It it the, the place where I did go to get it to do that is gone now. I don't know, but don't. Yeah, I it just happened because if I go like this, it that's there we go. There you go. See? Ooh, that is oh, cool. oh wow, there you oh, go. Oh, look at that. I like that. <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't want wow. any of that. I'm sorry. See, I, I don't want. Turn it off. Out out of, remember, we figured out how to turn that off. That Setting, isn't it? No, mm -hmm. it's your thumbs. No, I mean, it must thumbs, be the setting. Up. Mm -hmm. Reactions. There we go. Well, there it goes. No, it there it goes. Oh, oh wow. I anyway, I, I don't know how to turn it off. Wait a minute. Maybe yeah, I you can. figured it out. Remember that Kevin night said we did you figured that? It out. We you went through it. all that. Really? Remember? Did we? Hmm. Hmm. I have no yeah, idea. Should... Yeah, you do. It's got to be a background effects. No, I can't. Uh, I can't get it. Uh, it it should be here, but it's not here. Uh, I don't know. I give up. I'm not going to even try. <laughs> Nothing. Didn't do it that time. All that, Alex. Remember? Mm -hmm. What? Not working. All that? About two months ago, we went through all that. Yeah, but then I I don't know where how I turn it off now. It was in it was in one of those settings down there. No, but there isn't. Uh, there's a setting I have up here. That I, I go to, but now it says audio hijack. It doesn't say it's you know. No, it should zoom. be. It's, I forgot. I'll look at. I'll look Only back. just hijack I'll look back the and audio. Find it. It, it's in. It's in one of our conversations. Sorry, I brought it it's up. In really? one of those shows. Really? Huh. Yeah, it was in the show after the Saturday. We figured it out. Yeah. Well. Anyway, it it, it was up above, and now it's not. And I don't know <laughs> how you. Anyway. It's called gestures. Just don't do that, like the doctor says. Don't do that. Don't do that. It was like, there's an old story about George Burns, who had this uh, this cough, <clears throat> and he kept going, <clears throat> no, that's not it, Alan. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you can get rid of the hand now. You can get rid what of it. What hand? Oh, Jesus. See, that's what you Where did. Where did that come from? Well, you put it up. Oh, Anyway, um, uh, George Burns okay. uh, had this <clears throat> cough <clears throat> like this. So he went to a doctor, and he said to the doc, the doctor said, well, what can I do for you? And he said, 
I don't know, Doc. <clears throat> I have this problem <clears throat> that every time I, 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 I just kind of going around during the day, <clears throat> I keep going <clears throat> like this. <clears throat> and the doctor said, well, why do you do that? And he said, I don't know. That's why I came to you. He said, well, then just stop doing it. And he said he never did it again. <laughs> you know, so, I mean... Uh, uh, so I'm it hurts when I go like this. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't, so, don't, don't, don't go don't, like this. Don't go like that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway. So, I mean, you know, boy, if we got some, just some weird problems in this world. You oh, know? Jesus. I mean, it's just, um, well, Marjorie, of course, is really playing the old woman with me all the time now and going, what is this world coming to? <laughs> but do you say it, Jeff? No. No? You don't say it. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't say it. You're how old now? 78. 78. Kids these days. Okay, another four years, I guarantee you, we're going to be going, what's with this world? You know, what's happening to this world? Well, if Trump becomes president, now I got to get to work to what? solve something. What, for do you us. Mean, what, what are you going to solve? What are you going to solve? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we got to move. I, I to got Brazil. news for you. You and World I do, peace. We do not have any control over this. I, we really don't have control over it. America so has become a really land of the free, home of the dummies. Okay? I mean, it, they've gotten really stupid. Yeah. And and they, you know, what are you going to do about those people? I mean, if they want to vote for Trump and he destroys this country, and I'm telling you, re-electing Trump will he be the destruction of democracy in this country as we know it. Yep. If you want to vote for Trump and you want this country to go to hell in a handbasket because I'm old now. I don't know how long, much longer I'm going to be around, but I don't think it's going to be long enough to really see this really thing really fall apart. But if you don't want that to happen, then don't vote for Trump. Because Trump mm -hmm. has already told you what he's going to do if he's elected. Yeah. And it's all and pretty he, terrible. And he's yeah. got the Supreme Court behind him. Yep. Yep. Well, we'll see how much they he's got the Supreme Court. They didn't do any ruling today, did they? No, they won't do it till by. They have to do it by the 5th of January. So... But if it, if it was if it was a democratic out. Supreme Court, I feel like we would be safe. But uh, any anything that gets anything that he makes into a controversy will end up in the Supreme Court, and he'll win. Well, and, they didn't and, help him when he was leaving office, so maybe we'll get lucky. No, they voted against him on a lot of things. You know, well, no. hopefully they'll do the right thing. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it isn't a question of doing the right thing; just don't do the wrong thing. You know. But the thing is, is like if if things get to the Supreme Court, they've already done so much damage yeah. that the Supreme Court has to step in. Then it's already too late. Well, let's really. say something exciting right now, because when we get Charlie falling asleep, we've lost everybody. Yeah. Charlie. Whoa, that was it. That was <laughs> <laughs> ruined a good dream. Yeah. I got he was dreaming that he was in bed with Pamela Anderson. <laughs> I got a text today from uh, Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley. Yeah, oh, I got one from her today, too. Hey, yes, Nikki Haley, I want to tell you the journey that I took, da da da, da and then yes. when you go all the way down and all the way down, guess what they're asking for? Money. 25, 50, 100, 250, yeah. 500, 1650. I don't know what that. Or thirty three hundred dollars or other contributions. I've been I've been for getting those for you get about a month. Yeah, well, I just got. And you I, know what you do? What? You know, you just push the button that says "report as junk" and delete. Yeah, yeah. And eventually <laughs> yeah, they I go did. away. Yeah, but you, here's but here's what I didn't get, what I got in the mail. I haven't opened it yet. A letter from Pence. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. He's not even running anymore. He's not running anymore. And why did he waste his money sending me a letter, yeah. you know? And I haven't opened it yet. Maybe I'll open it up tomorrow night and I'll read it to you guys. Maybe it just says F you on it. Hmm. Well, thanks for not voting for me. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know why he's sending it. He's not running any longer. He doesn't need the money. Maybe he's trying to sell his children's books. Trying to sell his children. 
children. He Didn't he write a children's book? I think so. Yeah. 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 Right. Maybe he's yeah. trying to sell it. Wasn't it? Wasn't it about a rabbit? Yeah. And that that uh, uh, what's his name? Um, um, the late night guy. Yeah. yeah um, uh, he wrote a parody, and it was ahead of him on the Amazon charts. This week, ahead of this week tonight, book. with you know whatever his name is, uh, Jimmy it, Fallon. J no, not Jimmy yeah. Fallon. Oh. No, it's Jimmy the guy Fallon. who does Last Week Tonight. Oh, oh. John Oliver. John Oliver. He oh. he he did a parody of the book. Oh, John Oliver. And he okay. sold it. In fact, I've got two copies of it here. I should bring yeah. that in tomorrow night and read it to you. You know, so it's it's pretty cool, pretty cool. But he he's a he he's a, he's another piece of work. Although, you know, I mean, he did care enough about the United States of America that he wasn't about to do Trump's bidding when it came to you know counting the votes for the uh, electoral college. So yeah. you got to give him credit for that, you know. But uh, geez, it's just I don't know. I just want give me a little peace and quiet, okay? Between mm -hmm. this and all the deals I've got with the going to lawyers and had spending all that money to try and keep this apartment, you know. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I want what the hell. I wish we'd shake hands and let let's just say both of these two guys aren't running. But we'll just take the next one. Well, I wish I wish neither of them were running. Exactly. You know, and I wish that the people that were running were people who are were of high moral quality, and that they simply disagreed in what kind of politics they prescribed to. But you know, you don't you're not a you're not a jerk because you're a Republican, you know. Uh, it, it, it's a question of are you a moral person? And there is no morality where Trump people are concerned. You nope. know, uh, it, it's an easy, it's it's not an easy go there. It's too bad. It's just too bad. Um, and I, I, you know, I, I don't know what we're going to do about it. But anyway, uh, we'll leave the last word to Jeff. Jeff, how, how do we solve the problem? I have no idea. Gee, if you don't know, who's going to know? Well, I know. You know? But anyway. Just going to. Yeah. So anyway. And Brian, where's Adrian tonight? She. Uh, hmm. She's playing, I guess. I just heard her play. Yeah. But now that she's asking you to buy her makeup. No, you, not makeup. It's skin care. Skin care products. Skincare. Skincare uh, she no longer qualifies in that area of playing. Skin care. <laughs> you know? That's what kids do. Skin yeah. care, you know. But I imagine she's going to have some great skin if that's what she's asking for, you know. Her skin looks fine. As it is. I know. Of course. It's just the kids, her, her, the skin, kids it, her skin is terrific. Kids these days. Yeah. Anyway, I'm playing the theme here. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting a little tired oh, now. Why am I mm -hmm. tired? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, hey, uh, Alan, thank you for joining us tonight. Made things tomorrow happen. night. Tomorrow night's a Christmas night, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might be joined by Santa Claus tomorrow night. Ooh, boy, and again, we Santa. we might not. I don't want to put any pressure on Santa. Okay. Depends if he gets listening. drunk or not. If he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. Yes. Thank you very much, Charlie. Uh, and uh, thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Brian. And thank mm -hmm. you, of course, to the wonderful and terrific uh, Kevin. And Ray, good seeing you here tonight. Thank you. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, and uh, a good one it was. Anyway, I'm getting tired. I'm going to sleep, okay? Or as they say in uh, Yiddish, uh, Anyway, uh, uh, stay tuned now for... Uh, Amy Manuel, she's doing the show called The Intersection now and doing a brilliant job of it. We're very happy with that way that show sounds, and I think so are the people that call it now, too. So anyway, give her a call. She's next. She'll be doing it on Skype at uh, GabNet Live. That's the thing you put in when you want to call her on Skype. I'll see you again tomorrow night for the last show of our year uh, because we don't do any shows next week. And uh, in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Mm -hmm.
Okay? Good night, everybody. Okay? All right.